ready. Hello everyone! I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Today I am going to be taking you on my little journey of making chicken teriyaki. Um, this is new editing style that I'm using. I'm using voiceover, so let me know how you feel about it. Um, so to start, I am doing three cups of white rice. Um, and to make this particular rice, you need uh, three cups uh, every one cup of rice is two two cups of water so i'm putting in three cups of rice i'm gonna add five cups of water for right now and then later towards the end when it's almost done cooking i add in the sixth um just because you don't want it to be too soggy you kind of want to just go along as it is And now I am going to start cutting up the chicken. So I'm using Purdue chicken, which is my favorite kind of chicken cutlets. Um, I know a lot, that's kind of an unpopular opinion among most, but I really like it. Um, so I'm gonna start by taking out one cutlet, not three, <laughs> just one at a time. Um, oops. And then I'm going to take it, I'm gonna cut off any fat that I see. And then I'm going to split it in half and cut it into slivers, as you'll see. Also, we just got this new knife a couple weeks ago. It works so well. It cuts my cutting time literally in half i feel like it is such a nice knife and it's i think it works really good in my opinion So I definitely did not use that whole pack of chicken, um, but it's good because I have it a few days later. Um, so I'm going to add about a tablespoon of butter in there and I'm just going to add it in on the side. Give that rice a quick stir just to make sure nothing burns or sticks to the bottom. Oh, hello Carlito. <laughs>
Uh, just so you know, I am cooking both the rice and the chicken on medium heat. Um, I used to have this obsession where I would cook everything on high heat because I wanted it done faster, but I learned that's why my stuff always burned. So I'm just mixing that in, and as you can see, the chicken is starting to brown a little bit. It's looking really good. The butter's all melted into it. I think it comes out a lot better when it's cooked with the chicken. And then of course, can't forget about the rice, gotta stir it up so it doesn't burn on the bottom of the pan. And right here, I'm just tasting the rice to see it where it is, and I'm adding in that sixth cup of water, because it's about 75% done, and the chicken's looking nice and brown. I'm gonna start adding a little bit of teriyaki sauce um, as I go. And here is a lesson as to why you do not leave plastic rubber spatulas on the side of a pan, <laughs> because they will melt. Uh, so here I'm adding in broccoli florets just to the side of that, just so those can start cooking when your chicken's looking a little dark. And just mix all of that together, and again, don't forget about that rice. Um, I lowered the heat just a little bit. And again, just adding that teriyaki sauce as I go. I can't tell you how much I used. All I know is I just kept adding until it looked good and tasted good. <laughs> And chicken is looking nice and dark. Um, give the broccoli a taste while you're at it. Um, I believe I do that in the next clip. I'm just gonna mix that around a little bit, throw a little bit more teriyaki sauce on it, and try some broccoli. Now again, it doesn't have to be completely done because we're gonna cook everything together in this whole pan. So there I go, I tried a piece of broccoli and I put my fork through a couple of other pieces just to make sure that it wasn't frozen at least. And now I start scooping in the rice as I go. Um, I would say that I made a little bit of a mistake here. I wouldn't add this much rice at first. I would kind of mix it around a little bit more and then add a little teriyaki. Throwing in all the scoops in there. I will say I did not add all uh, three cups of rice in here. I would say I did about two, two and a half or so. Um, just because it's kind of a small pan and I didn't prepare properly, but now I have extra white rice that I can make lunch with the next day. Um, so yeah, just add in that teriyaki, ch um, teriyaki sauce every now and then, just keep stirring it all up together, and repeat the process. And there goes my boyfriend once again, coming in to help, adding in more teriyaki sauce because he never thinks there's enough. He is a much better mixer than I am. <laughs> and I am adding in white pepper, black pepper. I added in a tiny, tiny bit of salt because it is teriyaki kind of salty, especially like soy sauce, it's a little salty. And I believe I added in a little bit of garlic powder. Yeah, garlic powder as well. So that was white pepper, black pepper, a tiny bit of salt, and garlic powder. And mix everything together super well. And of course, more teriyaki sauce. <laughs> And there you have it. There is the beautiful looking teriyaki chicken. It was just a super easy dish for us to make because I had just gotten home from dance like I'm always at practice. Uh, so it's super easy. It took probably like 20 minutes. I'm going to season with a little bit of pepper and I'm going to have the chef of the house give it.
and he approves. Look at that. <laughs> so I tasted it, I thought it was really good. It's something super quick and easy, and I hope you guys like this video.